New at 6 tonight, researchers in Boulder are in the middle of a big research project on global warming. They say it's happening here in Colorado. Denver 7's Kristen Scovira is tracking our state's loss of ice. The mountains west of Boulder are losing ice, and it's not at a glacial pace. In this case, we're in a situation where glaciers are going to disappear in the next couple of decades. Mark Williams is a professor at CU Boulder's Institute of Arctic and Alpine Research. He's looking into the decline of ice at the Niwot Ridge, where the glacier has been thinning about one meter every year. And we've been doing long-term research there, uh, funded by the National Science Foundation, NSF, since 1980. In fact, the research began long before, in the 1960s. Williams says for many years, no cumulative change was noticed. No net change until uh, 2000. And then that was when the drought started here, in particular very high summer temperatures, and the mass balance just crashed. That crash has triggered a series of ecological changes. We're seeing changes in the hydrology, changes in glaciers, changes in alpine vegetation. And he says at this point the decline of ice and snow is not going to slow. It's locked in at this point. There's going to be year-to-year -year fluctuations. We've had a couple of good snow years uh, over the last four years. Three of them have been very good snow years and so we've recovered a little bit of the mass balance uh, but I, it's still going to go down over the long term. For Denver 7, I'm Kristen Scovira. Now we are seeing these effects at higher elevations first, but researchers say they will gradually move downhill and affect all of us.